Hello, good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, how are you? I'm tired. Good evening, teacher. <laughs> good evening. You're tired, Jorge? Uh, so, so. Oh, really? Why? Uh, long day. Mm, I see. Yeah. Yeah, that's that. That's true. Well, the good thing is that we are at the middle of the week, almost finished. <laughs> well, almost. at least that's how I see it. Two more days and we're finished, right? Two more, two more days to return to San Salvador. Oh, you're not in San Salvador? Not. No? Where are you? In San, Mi San Miguel. <coughs> oh, okay. And so you travel from San Salvador to San Miguel. From from Monday to, to Friday. Oh wow, okay. And so you live you live from Monday to Friday in San Miguel and from um and from um what's it called? Um, and from Saturday, well, Saturday and Sunday, you live in San Salvador. Is that right? Yes. yes. Mm, okay. Okay. I see. All right. Well, weekend in San Salvador. Sorry? Weekend. Weekend in San Salvador. The weekend in San Salvador. Oh, wow. That's interesting. That's good. That's excellent. Okay, well, we are going to start. Um, let's start with the attendance. We'll start with um, Cristina. Is Cristina here? No? No, Cristina? Okay, and Annie? Is Annie here? No? No, Annie? And Mari? Mari? No, Mari? What about Carolina? No, Carolina? Hmm, that's strange. Okay, she usually is connected. Okay, um, what about uh, Christy? Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Christy. And Jorge. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Jorge. Thanks. And Karen. Karen. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Karen. Thank you. Okay, and Karina. Present. Okay, welcome, Karina. And what about uh, Leo, Leonardo? Present teacher in here. Okay, very good. And Linda? Linda? No, Linda. Okay, Marlene? Marlene? No, Marlene? Okay. Uh, Miguel? Miguel? No, Miguel? Okay. Uh, Nelson? Uh, Nelson? Nelson, uh, I'm here. Nelson G. Ah, okay, perfect. All right. And Nelson A. Nelson A. No. Okay. Uh, Norma. Norma. 
Norma. Okay. Olga. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, Omar. Okay. Welcome, Omar. Okay. Suleyma Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay, very good. And um, Suleyma Melgar. Suleyma Melgar, no, okay. And Tatiana. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. All right, so let me just make sure that I haven't missed anybody. Um, we have uh, Cristina, I don't, I didn't hear. Ani, Mari, Carolina, Linda, Marlene, Miguel, Nelson A, Norma, and Suleyma Melgar. Did I miss anybody? No? Tatiana. And Tatiana teach. Oh no, I'm just reading the names of the people that I didn't ah. I didn't hear. Uh-huh. Okay. Yes, exactly. That's why. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, nobody? Okay. All right. Okay, so I'm going to continue. Uh first of all, sorry guys, I, I forgot I was going to send you the information. I promised you that I was going to send you the information of the steps of the product development. Um, and I didn't send it. So I'm sorry about that. Let me do that right now before I forget. In a second. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you um, the um, the PowerPoint. I'm going to send the PowerPoint to the group, the 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 WhatsApp group, so that you can um, so you can read uh, the information and understand it a little bit more. The different um, let's say the different steps. Okay. Um, actually, just so just give me a moment. Just a second. Okay. Um, Okay. Okay, please tell me if you can open if you can open the the um the document, okay? Cuz I I I just sent it to the group. Okay? So let me know if there anybody is having any problems. I'm watching the presentation. Okay, all right. So uh, any problems at this moment? Everybody can open the, the, the document? No, teacher, I can't. You can't open it? No. It's okay, teacher. Okay, uh, do you have a, an application in your 
cell phone to be able to open PowerPoint presentations? Because you need to be in order to be able to do this, you have to have an app, uh, an app that can open up um, the PowerPoint presentations. Okay, I can open. You you can. Or yes, you can. you can. Okay, wonderful. Yes. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Okay, all right. So what I'm going to do right now, um, since the majority of you guys can open it, I'm going to Uh, I'm going to be sharing. Okay, so I'm going to be sharing right now um, in the group. Um, and uh, you can follow with your own information or you can just look at it uh, from the screen, okay? So here we go. Tell me please if you can see my PowerPoint. This is what, this is exactly what I sent to the group. Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes. Okay. All right, so here we go. So this is the steps in product development. And this is, uh, okay, so was, this was the introduction that we read yesterday, right? The three paragraphs, so we read it together. That should be okay. And this is the idea generation, okay? I need a volunteer to help me read everything from the idea generation. You can help me with that. I can, teacher. Okay, go for it. Yes, go for it, Jorge. Number one, idea generation. The development of a product will start with the concept, the rest of the process will ensure that ideas are test for their viability. So in the beginning, all ideas are good ideas to a certain extent. Ideas can and will come from many different directions. The best place to start is with a SWOT analysis strange weakness opportunities and threats which incorporate threats threats threat, threat. Threat, threat, threats threats mm -hmm. correct okay which incorporates current market trends this can be used to an anal analyze your company's position and find a, di a direction that is in in line with your business strategy. In addition to this business center, activity are methods that focus on the customer's needs and wants and wants. This could be undertaking market, market research, listening to suggestions from your target audience including the current product, strength and weaknesses, encouraging suggestions from employee, employees and partners, looking at your com competitors, success and failures. Competitors. Competitors. Competitors, uh-huh. Competitors, okay. Yes. All right, thank you very much. Thank you, Jorge, excellent. Okay, so um, okay, so basically in, um, in this part of idea generation, uh, what's important here is that 
this part of the of the process, the most important part here is in the beginning, all ideas are good ideas. Okay, so basically we're just taking we're just taking in the ideas. More, 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 more ideas. The more ideas, the better. Okay, that's like the first part. Okay, and something that will help a lot is to do the SWOT analysis. Okay. Okay. Uh, which is strengths, weaknesses, opportunity, and threats. How do you call this in Spanish? What is SWOT analysis? Esfuerzo, debilidad, oportunidades, y amenazas. Mm -hmm. Good. And for short, we call it in Spanish? What is the name in Spanish? Foda. Foda. Exactly. Okay. So if you've ever heard of Foda, it's exactly the same thing in English with, but the, 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 um, the acronym is not FORA, but it's SWAT. Okay. Got it? Could you repeat, please? I don't understand that that part. Okay. Have you ever heard of FODA? FODA? I, no. No? Okay. FODA is it's it's short. Um, it stands for in Spanish. Um, ayúdeme porque esto sí no. In Spanish, I, I'm, I'm not sure. So, fortaleza, fortalezas. Oportunidades. Oh. Debilidad. Debilidades. Amenazas. Y amenazas. Okay, exactly. Okay. Okay. So, you probably. All that is swap. Uh -huh. Exactly. So, in, in, in Spanish, we say foda because it's, it stands for the first letter of each word. And in English, we call it SWAT mm -hmm. because the S is for strength, fortaleza. The W is for weaknesses, debilidades. Okay. The O is for opportunities, oportunidades. And the T is for threats, amenazas. Okay? Yeah? So when you analyze the SWAT, then it's easier to get more ideas, okay? And like I said at the beginning, all ideas are good. That's very important. So um, it, the more ideas, the better, right? Okay? All right, good. So that's the first part. The second part is idea screening. I need a volunteer to help me read this. Mm-hmm. Volunteer? Anybody? Me okay. Me okay, great. Go for it. I think screening. This is, this is crucial to ensure that in suitable ideas for whatever reason are rejected as some a positive possible possible. Ideas need to be considered objectively, yeah, ideal, be grouped or commitment. A specific screen criteria need to be set for this start looking at Roy. Is a Roy? Uh, for daily and um, market potential, this. Situation need to be considered careful to avoid product pilot after considerable invest investment down the line. Okay, very good. Thank you. Round of applause. Excellent. Okay. So um all right, so basically here. Uh here it's kind of the opposite of um, of these idea idea generation, right? So because here, um, what we want to start doing 
is instead of accepting all of the possibilities, we're now going to, um, we're now going to reject. So unsuitable ideas, we reject them as soon as possible. Okay, so after we have all of the different ideas, we start going, okay, this one, mm, yes, definitely, it could go. This one, uh, I'm not sure. If there's a little doubt, then we eliminate it as soon as possible, okay? If, it's not, if it doesn't really work out, we just simply eliminate it as soon as possible, okay? Sounds good? Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes, teacher. The meaning of unsuitable. Um. Oh, unsuitable. Um, unsuitable. Okay. Suitable is like, um, um, hold on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so su um, suitable, just the word suitable, it means um, that it's something that um, is appropriate. Okay, appropriate. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's the, the right thing. Okay, that's suitable. Okay. Um, yeah, exactly. Appropriate. So, for example, um, let's say, uh, is it suitable to wear a suit to the beach? A suit? Is it? Is it? Is it? Un crazy ideas. Yeah, that would that would definitely <laughs> be a, a crazy idea. You're right. Okay, so it's unsuitable. It's not a good idea to wear a suit. To the to the beach, unless you're going for a, a wedding at the beach, right? If it, you're going to a wedding to the beach, that's that's a different story. But unsuitable means that it's appropriate. Okay. 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 So so unsuitable is the opposite. It's not appropriate. Okay. So in this one, we're 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 taking the ideas that are not appropriate and we just we eliminate it as quickly as possible. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, any questions? Oh, something else, something that's very important here. Um, we consider the, uh, we consider the ideas objectively. Oops, sorry. Let me change that color. We consider the, um, the ideas objectively. And um, we screen the criteria. We do the screening criteria. But how do we do screening criteria? By asking questions. OK? So you start taking an idea. You say, this one sounds appropriate. This one doesn't. This one, mm, I'm not sure. And then you start asking yourself questions. OK? All right, let's go on to the next one. Concept development and testing. Who wants to read that information for me? Mm -hmm. Who wants to read? Hello, anybody? Hey, teacher. Okay, all right, go for it. Go for it, Tatiana. Number three, concept development and testing. You have an idea and it's past the screening stage. However, internal opinion isn't the most important. You need to ask the people that matter, your customers. Using a small group of, of your true customer base, those that convert, the idea need to be tested, tested to see her reaction. The idea should 
now be a concept with enough in-depth information that the consumer can visualize, visualize it. Do they understand the concept? Do they want or need it? This stage gives you a chance to develop the concept further, considering their feedback, but also to start thinking about what your marketing message will be. Okay, very good. So now you have limited all the ideas to one. Okay. Oh, by the way, thank you very much, Tatiana. Thank you for, for helping us. Okay, so here we have gone from uh, idea generation and we, we limit it now. We, we have taken away all of the bad ideas and we have one idea. Okay, we're left with one idea. Got it? Yeah. And now you have that one idea. Uh, now, the thing is that now what we want to know is not the opinion of, you know, it's not my opinion that's important. It's now the internal opinion that is important. Okay. The, we want to know what internally people think. Whoops. Sorry about that. Okay, there it is. All right, um, so we want the internal opinion. Now, how do we get internal opinion? We ask people that matter. And who are the people that matter? These are, yeah, these are true customer base, okay? Um, so what does that mean? These are people that are already your customers, okay? So these are not new people that you find on the street. No, these are people that you trust, that you know uh, they are your customer, you know, they, they already know your company, they know the products that you sell, um, they like it because they keep on coming back for more, okay? And so these are true customers, okay? Um, yeah, okay. Um, and now um, you have to actually ask these people, do they understand the concept? Do they want or need it? Now, I, I want to make sure you understand when I say true customer base, we're not just talking about your your, the friends that buy close uh, things from you. No, we're talking about those um, people that do buy from a company and that will give you a, a very genuine I, um, point of view of their opinion, okay? All right. Um, that's why the most important thing here you're looking for is their feedback. Do you understand the word feedback? Yes. Yeah, it's like it's like a focus group, something like that. No, no. Uh, just simply feedback is. Maybe I know. No, I'm talking. I understand yeah. what is feedback. I was talking about when you say people that matter. Oh yes. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So the feedback is people's opinion, right? You want to get their opinion, whether it's good or it's bad, whether it's positive or negative, you want to know what they think. And, and probably the negative things are probably going to be even better for you um, to develop your, 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 um, your product or your service because, you know, critical um, analysis or or better said, you, um, you know, criticism, uh, constructive criticism can help you actually make a better product or a better service. Okay. Any questions so far? Uh -oh. 
teacher the concept further, further, further. What, what is your question? Uh, the meaning of concept for the... To develop the concept further. Uh, yes, further, the meaning is... Oh, you want to know the meaning of further? Is that, is that what you're asking? Yes. Okay, okay, very good. The word further comes from the adjective far okay you understand far, far? Uh, yes well, yeah distance. okay good when we're talking about far in distance the compare the the comparative like when you say más lejos right we say farther okay más lejos farther Okay, but that is talking about distance. Wow. Okay, when we are talking about far in, in, in more of a, a, figurative, a figuratively speaking concept and not, uh, and not a, um, a, um, a literal concept like as in distance, we use the word further, okay? Like to give you an example, if I say to you, um, I want to study further, okay? I want, to go, I want to go into my studies further, okay? Um, I'm not talking about distance, right? Like when you say in Spanish, Quiero ir más lejos con mis estudios. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not, but we're not talking about distance. Mm -hmm. Right? No quiero ir más lejos que quiero llevarme el estudio allá a unos cuantos <laughs> kilómetros, ¿verdad? No, that's not the idea. It's we're just, we're talking about it figuratively mm -hmm. speaking. So mm -hmm. that's the word further. Okay. 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 Sounds good? Yes. Sounds good. Okay, good. All right, we'll continue. Um, any, okay, so that's it um, in terms of concept development and testing. So now we are at the point where we want to know what our customers think of the idea. That's basically what concept development testing is, okay? Now let's continue business analysis, who can help me? Mm -hmm. A volunteer to help me read. Vamos. Ustedes pueden. Vamos, vamos. No se me. Okay, very good. All right. Excellent, Omar. Go ahead. This is very smooth. Okay, thank you very much, Omar. Um, yeah, I, I think, uh, are, you, are you having problems with the internet or uh, with the microphone? Do you know? Because it sounded a little muffled. 
maybe maybe you can check your microphone. Maybe there's um, there's uh, a problem there with the microphone. Okay, but thank you very much, Ahmad. Yes, very good. Okay, so the business analysis is um, where we want to know if it's going to be profitable. Okay, we really want that. That's that's where we want to see. Okay, so after we have the customer's opinion, now we're going to see if it's profitable. What is profitable in Spanish? How do we say? Make huh? money. Make money. Post. Yeah, exactly. You want to know if it make it will make money, right? Or as they say, va a ser. Rentable. Rentable, exactly. Uh -huh. Okay, so now we have their opinion. Okay, now we want to see the money. Okay, that's what we're interested in here because after all, it's a business. So if we're not making money, then it makes no sense, right? Yeah? yeah. Ah, okay, okay. It's okay, Omar, I understand. Yeah, it's okay. Um, yeah, it's it, the weather it's probably going to be affecting a little bit. I think I'm going, I think it's going to start raining in my house too. So don't, so I might have problems as well. Okay. So just letting you guys know. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So yeah, we want to know if we're going to get money from it. That's the idea. Okay. So how, how do we determine if we're going to get money? We have to know, um, we have to know if, if there is a demand for the product, okay? So in other words, do people want the product, okay? Because if people don't want the product, then what's the point, right? I can have this wonderful, beautiful project, but if people don't want it, then there's not gonna be a, a any 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 reason to to want to make it right okay so for example um you know maybe i want um you know i'm, I'm going to uh, i don't know i'm going to make um coats in el salvador coats like abrigos right okay and they're going to be beautiful coats you know very high quality yeah, but is it gonna, are people going to demand the product? Not in El Salvador, right? People don't buy coats in El Salvador. Maybe jackets, yes, but not coats, right? Because it's not cold in El Salvador to buy, have a, 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 a coat, right? So it's not, gonna be, it's not gonna be in high demand, right? So we gotta make sure that whatever you're making is gonna be in, in uh, it's gonna have a high demand. Also, you need to understand what the full appraisal of the costs are. So um, try uh, really understand um, how much it costs to make this product. Okay, um, you know what are the costs internationally? Uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And I want to know my competition. I want to know if, if there are other companies that are have the same product or a similar product and in that case how much are they selling it for okay and we also have to identify the break even point what is the break even point what does that mean any idea punto de equilibrio mm -hmm. Not exactly. Break even. Okay. Break even means when I am selling a product or, or, or yeah, I'm selling the product. Maybe um, I, sometimes I may, um, you know, I may not sell as much as I want, but at least I'm not going to lose money. Okay. So um, I don't want, so maybe I'm not going to make a lot of money, but at least I don't want to lose the money. 
Okay, so if I invested, I don't know, just to give an idea, if I invested $1,000, I want to make at least $1,000. If I can make more, great. But if I can't make more, at least I don't want to be making $900. Because if I if I make if I invest one thousand uh, sorry um, yeah one thousand dollars and I the profit is nine hundred or better say not the profit but I sell and I make nine hundred dollars I don't I, instead of uh, being good for me it's bad because I lose money so the break even point would be if I invest one thousand dollars. I get back $1,000. It's like the, the risk. Um, yeah, but, but this is not, the, the break-even point is not risky. This is the point where like, okay, if things don't go good, but at least don't make them go bad. What is the moment where, what is the, the amount that I need so that I don't lose money? Okay. What is the minimum that I need to get back to not lose money? Okay. Does that make sense? That makes yes. Sense. Yeah. Okay. Good. Next. Um, just give me a moment. Okay. Product development. I need a volunteer to help me do product development. Uh, wonderful. Okay. Um, Jorge, you can. Number five, mm -hmm. product development. Mm -hmm. If the new product is approved, it will be passed to the technical and marketing development stage. This is when a prototype or a limited production model will be created. Uh, sorry that I have. Sorry, what happened? I have some kind of problem with the the screen because I I don't the screen I don't I can see the screen. Oh, okay. This means you can investigate the exact design and specification and any manufacturing methods, but also give something tangible for consumer testing, for feedback on specifics like look, feel, and pack packaging, for example. Okay, very good, thank you. Okay, so here, product development. Um, so now <clears throat> we have the new product, it's approved. Now it's time to make it, make sure that um, it goes to the stage for technical and marketing development, okay? Um, so here, in this moment is where we're actually gonna be making a prototype. Okay. That's that's the, the important word in this one. Um, we're making a prototype. What is a prototype? What is a prototype? Any idea? No muestra teacher. The example. Yes, kind of. Um, Is an example of the product. Sorry. Is an example an example of the product. Exactly. Very very good. That's exactly what it is. It's an example, right? Or a sample of the product, okay? Um, so this is, this is the product 
that all the other products are going to be based on okay so this is like okay let's create the product what i have in my head okay it's like this is this and now i have it physically that's a prototype okay it's it's okay or not sorry can it you repeat that again materialize that it doesn't exist or uh realize realize yeah to realize create, create, the, the, create. the product right mm -hmm. exactly okay um so that's why we're here we're looking at the exact design the specifications right the uh, the product where, where like how tall how big how small it is right um and we we give something this is also for another part we give something tangible for the customer testing okay so it's not just okay it's not just about imagine this it's look this is what i have okay let's test it does that make sense is is something that you can touch exactly yeah okay something you can touch so we have specifics on look feel and packaging right so we have something tangible that we can look and manipulate and and see if 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 you like it or not okay so that's product development all right so far so good good okay good the next one number six who can read help me read mm -hmm. a volunteer who can help me read me okay um eh, annie go for it okay okay a test marketing or market texting is different to concepts or consumer texting in that in that introduces the prototype product following the proposed mar marketing plan as well rather than individual elements. This process is required to validate the world concept and is used for further refinement of all elements from product to marketing message. Thank you. Message. Message. Mm -hmm. Message. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Um, okay. So here, um so here we have the test marketing basically it's now okay now it's kind of like we're going to not just have um not just have like a, a focus group right but we're actually going to test the market okay that's basically what it is we're going to test the market okay um Okay, so um, now, so here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna introduce the prototype. Okay, we're gonna um, introduce it. Basically, we're gonna say to the customer, okay, here it is, um, but it's not just the customer now, okay? Um, it, now we're going to actually see how it does in the market for a short period of time, okay? So we're looking at now potential customers, not just customers, but potential customers. We're gonna throw it out and see, okay? So here, um, we need to validate the concept, okay? Um, by refining all the elements, so 
now so the people say okay um i like this i like that i didn't like this i didn't like that okay so we can refine or or make better the elements of the product and we even do the marketing message we can make it we can change it right so if it if if we need to change like the strategy now now this is the moment to do it okay sounds good Yes, no? It makes sense? One, one yes. question, teacher. Sorry? The one question, the, the whole rather means uh, a re review of the, of the prototype complete, something like that. Marketing plan as whole rather, whole rather. Oh, as a whole. As a whole rather. Uh -huh. As whole, yeah, as whole. the whole. Um, yeah, the whole is like the entire thing, complete, yeah? And the word rather, um, word here rather it means um instead of instead of it's actually sorry it's not just rather it's rather than instead of okay. do you understand the word instead of okay rather than yeah as whole rather rather than indiv individual elements okay Okay, so we're looking at it as a whole and not the individual elements. We're looking at the whole thing. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, next. Um, all right, so that's that. Um, okay, next. Who can help me with this one? Me teacher. Okay. All right. Go for it, Olga. Okay. When the concept has been development, development, and test, final decision need to be made to move the product, the product to its launch into the market. Pricing and marketing plans need to be final, finalized and the sales teams and distribution breaks so that the product and company is ready for the final stage. Thank you. Okay, so this is finalized. 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 Yes, and this one is briefed. Okay. All right, so here um, in this one, um, we've already passed the development, we passed the testing part. Now it's time for the final decisions. Um, and okay, so that's what's important here. Now we're gonna make a final decisions. Okay, what are those final decisions? First is like the pricing, right? So we need to know how much we're going to sell it for. We can't sell it high because if it's too high, we're probably not gonna get many people buying. And we can't sell it too, so, uh, too low because then we're, we're going to lose money, right? And uh, we also have to know our competitors and the prices that they're offering, okay? So that's how we decide on the pricing. Also on the marketing plans, okay? So how are we going to market this product, okay? Um, 
So basically what we want to do is get ready for the final stage. Okay, and what's the final stage? Um, Launch. Launch. Exactly. All right, who can, can help me with this one? The last one? Vamos, chicos, ustedes pueden. Come on, guys, you can do this. Maybe. Okay, all right, go for it, Carolina. Very good. Number eight, launch. A detailing launch plan is needed for this stage to the wrong smoothly and to have maximum maximum impact it show in close decision showing time when and where to launch to target your primary consumer group uh, finally in order to learn from any mistakes made a review of the market performance is needed i need to access the success of the project. New product development can be made much simpler, simpler and focus with a high, higher likelihood of success be following this step to guide you. Very good, thank Thanks. you very much. Excellent, very good. Okay, um, so we need, we definitely need, before we launch it, we need to make sure that we have a detailed launch, a detailed launch plan, okay? This should include decisions surrounding when and where to launch the target. Okay, when, so, Decisions, hold on. Decisions about when and where to launch to the target, okay? Um, and we also have to make sure that we have a review of the market performance, okay? So basically here, this is the moment where we're going to also uh, make sure that we have something to review how the product does in the market, okay? Um, okay, sounds good? Do we understand the different steps now? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yeah. Are you sure? Teacher, solo eh, pedirle favor, ¿será que puede poner en pantalla el número uno que yo no lo tomé porque es entre tarde? Ah, eh, Carolina, I, I sent the information in the group. You have it there. Ah, okay. Okay. okay so okay. The, the PowerPoint is in Thanks. the group. You're welcome. Okay. okay. All right. Any other questions? No. Yeah. Uh, what is the meaning of likely likelihood? Likelihood. It means um how likely something is. Okay. What is the, the possibility? Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Right. Okay. Um, so I'm going to stop sharing because right now I need to be taking attendance. So let's take attendance, guys. Um, okay. Uh, we'll start with Christina. Present. Okay. Good. Um, Annie. Present teacher. Excellent. 
and uh, Mari. Present. Okay, good. Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Christy. Present. Okay, excellent. Jorge. Present teacher. Excellent. And Karen. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Karina. Present. Okay, excellent. Uh, Leo, Leonardo. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Linda. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Marlene. Marlene. Here. Uh, Miguel. Present teacher. Present. All right, very good. Nelson G. Present, Miss. Okay, excellent. And Nelson A. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Norma. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, Olga. Present teacher. Good. Omar. Present. Okay, excellent. Eh, Suleyma Rodriguez. Suleyma Rodriguez. Not here. Okay. Uh, what about Suleyma Melgar? Present teacher. Okay, very good. And Tatiana. Present. Okay. Very good. All right, so we've taken that. Ahora, so now that we've done that, I can give me a moment. Teacher present. Who said present? Suleyma Rodriguez. Ah, okay. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Um, solo deme un momentito. Hay algo. Mm. Very kind. Mm. Okay. All right. Um, sorry, guys. This is going to be a Okay. Espero que hoy sí. Sorry guys. Okay, so please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Great. Okay. Yes, teacher. All right, excellent. So uh, we're gonna be talking about reduced adverb clauses of time. Uh, your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero, it's the intermediate two, it's class number three. Okay, um, so 
uh, I think we can answer these questions as a class and we can easily do this now. So what is a SWOT analysis in general? Don't, don't tell me what they stand for, just in general. What is a SWOT analysis? Or like I say in Spanish, what is a FODA? Strange. Strange. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. Um, I, I want to know, know what it stands for, but what is it? it it's a teacher, it's a method to mm -hmm. study the, the market, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. All right. Any other ideas? Uh, teacher, I think yeah. is a um, business analysis um, for the possible mistake with the product. Okay. Mm -hmm. Could be. Very good. Okay. Anything else? Okay. So basically a SWOT analysis is, yes, like it's a method that we can use to be able to um, identify the areas in our product, in our, um, in our product or, or our company that can be favorable to us, but also can damage us so that we can be prepared and we do not fall, okay? So basically that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to uh, gain a better understanding of what are the things that are, work to our advantages and things that work against our advantages, okay? So that we are like a step ahead, okay? So do you know what steps of the analysis each of the letters in SWATS represents? Mm -hmm. What do they represent? The S is? French. Strength. Strength. Okay. French. So for me, strength. French. Strength. French. Okay. So it's the, the ending is not, it's not je, it's th, 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 th. Okay. Strength. Th. Strength. 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 Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, very good. Okay. All right. All right. And the W? Weaknesses. Yes, weaknesses. weaknesses. Mm -hmm. Very good. And the O? Opportunities. Yes. Opportunities. 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 Mm -hmm. And the T? Threat. 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 Good. Threats. Have you ever conducted a SWOT analysis? No, I don't. Never? Never conducted a SWOT analysis? Mm, no, never teach. No? Nobody? No. Nobody has? Teacher, is a selection a correct way or correct decision? Okay, yeah, uh, right, exactly. SWOT analysis is not just about um, work related things. We can do SWOT analysis even for ourselves, like uh, for we as a person, what are our strengths? What are our weaknesses? Like talking about like our personality, for example, right? Um, so yeah, we can do it for anything. It's not just for for business. It can be on a personal level. Uh, what what is this decision going to be the right decision or not? Right? Okay. So have you ever done the SWOT analysis? No, never? 
Never done a SWOT analysis? No? No. Okay. No? No. Hmm. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to practice this conversation. For this, I need you guys to turn off your microphone because I'm going to be reading it together. Okay. Okay. Um, I need you to turn off your microphone because we're going to read it together, but I don't want to, all of your uh, voices to be clashing. Okay, so uh, everybody needs to have their microphone off so that we can we can practice it together without interrupting each other. Okay. All right, here we go. Well, let's get started. After conducting a SWOT analysis, we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. Right. Let's describe the strengths. That means the advantages we have over our competitors. We offer flexible schedules to adapt to our customers busy agendas. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills. Since the first class, that's correct, Mario. After discussing our strengths, let's continue with our weaknesses. What are weaknesses about? Weaknesses are areas which the corporations are competitively disadvantaged. In our case, a weakness might be the lack of parking space 
for our customers. You're right again. Mario, before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threats. or dangers outside that could affect the company. Okay. All right, how did you do? Do you feel that you, you got the pronunciation well? Yes? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, teacher. good. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna be putting you into breakout rooms and you are gonna be practicing this conversation. I'm gonna get you to work in groups of three, okay? Because um, there are three, there are three um, people. So we need to have a group of three. To read the article. Huh? To read the article. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. And not the article, the conversation. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I will give you hmm, about eight minutes to do that. Okay. Read the conversation, take turns being different people. Okay. Do we understand the instructions? No. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Okay. Let's open up the rooms. We offer flexes special to adapt to our customer. Busy. 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 Agenda. Busy agenda. Um, busy day with alone, then to practice their public speaking, kids, singer, the first class. That's correct, Mario. After this discussing our strength, let's continue with our weakness. What are weakness about? Weaknesses are areas in which the corporation are competitive lead, decide, abandon, in or said, a witness may be the lot or parking space for our customer. Give me a moment, please. I lost the conversation, sorry.
Chair. Okay. Okay, you're right. Again, Mario, before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threats or dangers outside that could affect the company. Dangers. Now I, I will just... What are witnesses about? Witnesses are areas in which the corporation and competitively this this disadvantaged. In our case, a witness might be the lack or parking space for our customers. You write against Mario. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and trends or dangers outside that could affect the company. Okay, now change the words. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I am the Rivas. Okay. Uh, well, let's get started. After conducting a SWOT analysis, we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. Right, let's describe these trends. That means the, uh, the advantages we have over our competitors. Mejor yo soy Mari porque me toca siempre José. Ah, ok, ok. Ok, continue. Repeat it. Sí. <laughs> right, let's describe the strength. That means the advantage we have our, our competitors. We offer fly, flexible a schedule to adapt to our customers' busy agendas. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills, science, the first class. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our strength, let's continue with our witnesses. Emma, yo voy. What, yes. what are what are witnesses about? Witnesses are areas in which the corporation are competitively disadvantaged. In our case, a witness might be the lack of parking space for our customers. You're right again, Mario. Before making a decision, <clears throat> we, we still need to go over the opportunities and threats or dangers <clears throat> outside that could affect the company. Okay, now I am Mr. Mr. Rivas, I'm start. Well, let's get started. Start after conducting a salt analysis. We will now whether to go on or stop with this project. Hoy voy yo, Mario. O o Sulaima. Yes. ¿Quién no ha sido Mario? Yo. Yo ya fui Mario. John, no, yes, John, yo. Oh. Right, let's describe the strengths that means the, the advantages we have over our competitors. We offer flexible, flexible schedule to adapt 
to our customers, busy agents. Besides, we allow them Flexible. to practice. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills since the first class. That's correct, Mario. After this using our strength, let's continue with our weaknesses. What are weaknesses about? Weaknesses are, are areas in which the com corporations are com compatible disadvantages in our case. I win it. Need be the lack or, or parking space for our customers. You're right again, Mario. Before making a decision, we still need to, be, to go over the opportunities and treat or danger outside. Okay, so what we're gonna do, um, because of time, we are going to, um, uh, let me see, I think everybody's here. Let's see, yeah, tenemos todo vuelto. Okay, so what we're gonna do because of time, we're not going to uh, be circling the words, but I want you to write the words in the chat, okay? Any words that you were having problems with, how to pronounce them, please write them in the chat. Okay, I'm gonna wait until all of the the until you write all the words and then we'll to do it together. Wow, there's lots of words. I think many of them are repeated. Okay, so I'll give you about 15 seconds more and then we'll um, practice saying them together. Okay. Oh. Let's see people writing. Okay, so um, you guys have access to the the chat. So we're we're gonna we're gonna see the, the words together and we're gonna practice words together together. Okay. So I have here the first word is competitor. I want you to open up your microphones and practice with me. Competitor. Competitor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. Okay, the next word is a little tricky, but I really want you to pay attention. Pay attention not to the not only to the sound, but to the way my mouth is positioning. 
uh, my lips so that you can pronounce this word. Strengths. 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 Good. Strange. 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 Notice that there's not j in there. It's not strange. No, it's not j. It's strength. 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 Competitively. 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 Again. Competitively. Again, listen. Competitively. 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 Yes, much better, much better. Competitively. 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 Sorry, it's okay. It's okay. We're learning. We're learning. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're learning. Competitively. 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 Stop for a moment and listen again. Competitively. 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 Okay. Yes. Very good. Competitively. Yes. If it might help if you if you cut out the last part of the Lee and just say competitively. 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 Yes, competitively. Competitively. Excellent. Okay. Next. Lack. 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 Good. Lack. Skills. 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 Disadvantaged. 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 Weaknesses. Weaknesses. Yes. Weaknesses. 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 Okay, listen again. Listen again. Weak weaknesses. 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 No, no, no weaknesses. Okay, it's weakness. Three syllables. Weaknesses. Weaknesses. Yes. And the stress is on the on the first one. It's weaknesses. So it's not weaknesses. It's weaknesses. 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 Yes. Perfect. Okay. Weaknesses. Okay. Dangers. 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 And threats. 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 Threat. 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 All right. You guys got it. Okay. Good. All right. So we did that. We're finished with that. Um, okay. Um, so, okay. So now what we're going to do, is I'm going to put again the PowerPoint. 
Please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Yes, I can. Okay, so this part is should be super easy because all you're gonna do, we're looking at the vocabulary for the SWOT, strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threat. And you're gonna just match them with the, um, the correct definition. Mm. Okay, so you, I'll, I'll let you do that individually. I'll give you a minute to, to do it. It shouldn't take you very long. Okay, so let's check. So what, what do you think is the first one? Provide and allow Orange. companies advantage over its competitors? Strange. Strange. Okay, strange. remember, not strange. Orange. Okay, the G is not pronounced, okay? Something that will help mm -hmm. you to pronounce this correctly is to remember that the G is not pronounced. It's silent. So it's not strange, it's strength. The only thing that the G helps with is to make the mm sound. The G, the, the G only makes the mm. It makes it a little bit. La G lo que hace es que hace que la N suene más nasal. Okay, en vez de decir mm. friend, decimos string, mm, right? Entonces, string. String. Pero no pronuncia. Strengths. 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 Strong. Okay, so strength, very good. Next, weaknesses. 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 Yes, very good. Weaknesses. Oh. Weaknesses. Good. Next. We have opportunities. 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 opportunities are opportunities. Unexploited opportunities. Opportunities. developments. Opportunities. Opportunities. Yes. Very good. And finally, threats. Yeah. Threats. 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 Okay, so threats are explore the external environment that could affect 
The company, in, uh, including technological environment and regular, regulatory facts, factors. Okay? Sounds okay. good. Clear? Clear. Okay, good. So what we're gonna do now is let's practice. Um, so we're gonna be working in groups. So, so this is group work. Organize a short presentation about the characteristics of a product line. Okay. Do we understand what a product line is? What? Oh. Do we understand product line? Yes, teacher. Mm. What's a product line? Is no. is commercialization in online? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Basically, a product line. What it is is okay. A company. Um, uh, okay. A, a company may have more than one type of product. Okay. Um, and they may have um, products that are related to one thing, but they want to expand the market. So they have other products that are not related to that, but related to something else. That's a product line. It's a sequentially. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So uh, to give an example, maybe um, there's a company that um that makes shoe, um, shoe men's hmm? men's shoes or shoe okay. men's okay yeah men's shoes okay so there's a company that makes men's shoes but uh the company oh by uh, the way guys um, it's starting to rain in my house so if by any chance something happens to me that i disappear <laughs> you know why okay um, anyway, um, so let's say they make men's shoes, but uh, they want to expand. So they don't, they decide that they're not just going to make men's shoes, but they're also going to uh, do accessories for men. Okay. So they're going to um, also sell ties and belts and, um, Socks. Um, huh? Cups. What? Socks. Oh, Cups. Socks. yes, socks. Yeah, very good. So that's another product line, the accessories. Okay. And then they say, oh, okay, we want to give men uh, more looks. Okay. So we're going to have. Um, Sunglasses. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to have the uh, formal the formal wear and the informal wear okay so we're going to have products for men that are for formal use like for example briefcase and um, a tie maybe a tie accessories for ties and then we'll have other ones that are um casual like a, like for example caps right uh, or hat, or hat, yeah, or sunglasses, yeah. Okay, so that's more in more casual. So those are product line. So you're gonna choose a famous product line in El Salvador, right, in your country, and you're gonna name at least three products that belong to that line. Okay. What are some common characteristics the product share? So think about those common characteristics for those products and what characteristics of the line are attractive to customers. Okay, so um, yeah, so you're gonna be discussing three products, first discuss the three products, then find, let me. Yeah, it's okay. I understand uh, the rain is 
going to be affecting maybe some of you. It's okay. I understand. Okay, so first, you're going to have at least three products. Okay. Then we're going to also have, we're going to find out what, what are the common characteristics in those products. Okay. And then we're going to look at what characteristics of the line are attractive for the customers. So those are the three things that you have to discuss. First, what are the three products? Second, the common characteristics. Third, uh, what characteristics are make it attractive? Sounds good? Sounds good. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to get you to work now in groups. Um, give me a moment. Okay. Um, okay, here we go. Um, I'm going to give you yeah, but eight minutes. Okay, so here we go. Group. 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 Words. Organize a short presentation about the characteristics of a product lines. Is a product. One product. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. What do you think? Product lights, shampoo. Is famous products large in your country? In your country, what products? Mm. Uh, do you think, Anna? Is is. Mm. The food or other product? Leo, Leonardo dijo shampoo, pero no sé. Shampoo. Online social presentation. ¿Y quién va a hacer la presentación? Pero es que creo que eso. Tenemos que hacer días eh, positivas. Oh, no sé, solo la, lo vamos a decir. Ahí sí. Yo no, no puedo en este celular. Organize a shop presenta ya se lo puede caracterizar de un producto en línea. Y caracteriz. 
House of Golden Lights. Shampoo. For the sale. Three products. The three personal. Mm -hmm. I think the teacher said the three, three products, but uh, one is shampoo, other uh, maybe could be uh, sodas or I don't know. But the, the first step is organize a short presentation about the characteristics of a product line. So we need to create, to organize a short presentation about one product, I think. For, for a step. What is the problem? Resistant, weatherproof, impermeable, resistant, resistant, no, weatherproof, impermeable, resistant, resistant, resistant. Resistant. Yeah, resistant. Comfortable. 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 Uh -huh. um, mm. What more? Uh, Durability. Durability. Durable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, durable. 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 This is Google. Durable. 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 Solo una pregunta. ¿Y eso es la característica de la, el producto, la línea de productos? Ah. Como el producto es accesorios para el invierno. Esa es la línea. línea accesorios. Uh -huh. Entonces las características serían esas. It has to be a product line that exists in El Salvador. Okay. Yes. 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 But what is the what is the name? That that's what I feel confused because I I understood we have to talk about uh, a brand that exists right now. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Okay. So it can uh, sorry can be for example Sara they have. A t shirt, jeans, and shoes, and many things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why no? Um, O sea, podríamos, yeah, yeah. por ejemplo, uh -huh. por decir algo, por, como por ejemplo eso, ¿verdad? No exactamente tiene que ser eso, pero por ejemplo, podría ser una tienda por decir algo 
esa Sara, Bershka, por ejemplo, que ellos tienen como perfumes, eh, zapatos, Ajá. hay sí, accesorios. Es, es como Entonces, mi empresa. En mi empresa hay líneas en las farmacéuticas podría. de belleza y en las líneas farmacéuticas respiratorias, naturales. ¿Y eh, cómo se llama? ¿Y por qué no hablamos de eso? Solo que nos estamos, nos estamos enfocando en un accesorio exclusivamente para el invierno. ¿Qué es el que nos estamos enfocando en, en tres accesorios específicamente. No sé si, si lo vamos a a plantear así como hablar de los accesorios como estamos haciendo ahorita o, o plantearlo como dice Tatiana, como no, una es empresa, que, como una compañía. No, lo que pasa es que la teacher dijo que teníamos que hablar de algo que ya exista. No vamos a crearlo. Ella está hablando de una empresa que ya existía, de tres productos de algo que ya existía. Por eso le dije que estaba confundida. Ok, enfoquémonos entonces en Simán, por decir uh -huh. algo. Ah, Simán y accesorios para, para el invierno. Ajá, por eso dice choose a famous product line para no, per, para no perder el enfoque de lo que ya de lo que ya estuvimos hablando. Exacto. Es que no importa la tienda. Yo pienso, pues, la tienda la podemos poner el nombre después, pero la idea. Por lo menos la idea de qué queremos ya la tenemos. Es a menos que alguien tenga otra idea, a menos que alguien tenga otra idea mejor, pues la podemos evaluar también. A mí me parece la idea. Eh, remember, it's a, it's a famous product line in your country. So eh, it's not about a store itself, but about the name of a, of a product line. Mm. Now what what like be very specific uh, teacher mm -hmm. i i was telling you about sara mm -hmm. is they have a uh, shoes t-shirt jeans and many things so i think it's it's like that right okay yeah so zara um zara has uh, um maybe like the the women's women's clothes, um, men's clothes, uh, mm -hmm. accessories. Um, I think they have shoes, right? Or no? Yes, they have. Hmm. Okay, so those yeah. are different product lines from Zara. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, I'm gonna but, go, yeah. Uh -huh. But we need to choose a store that exists right now. We don't have to create a, a new name. store, yeah. right? A brand name that exists. Okay. Not a okay. store, but a brand name that actually exists. Right? Okay. I'll give you, okay. I'm going to give you this as an example. Suli. We can, oh, okay. Okay. Think about Suli. Um, Suli is a, is, is a product name that exists in El Salvador. And Suli has many different product lines, right? They have food, right? The product line is food. They have um, uh, things for like um, cleaning products, right? Okay, so that's another line. Uh, they have um, uh, like, um, What else do they have? Oh, they have a whole bunch of things, right? Right. But basically, they have anything for the house, they have it, right? Those are different product lines. So, like I said, it doesn't have to be a store because Suli is not a store, but it's, it's a, a brand. A brand, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. We can we can say, for example, Diana. They have candies. They have uh, snacks. Sure, yeah, exactly. Okay? Okay. Sure. Okay, I'll see you guys in a moment. Thank you. Uh, okay. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Um, salsa picante. Perdón, chicos, que me tardé en, en venir, pero estaba ayudando otro grupo. ¿Alguna preguntita? 
Yes. Um, I, uh, we don't understand if we going to choose only, for example, one one company. Mm -hmm. uh, but but uh, well, I think that is in this way. Mm -hmm. We have one company, and that company distribute three three brands, for example, uh, three brands of South of America and have Hans, Naturas and Karen. And that no, are no. the three lines. No, 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 because those are different companies. Um, I was using this company, this this example with uh, the other group. For example, Suli. Think about the, the, the branding Suli. Suli has many different product lines. They have food. That's one product line. They have different types of food. They have another product line for like cleaning products, right? And basically they have anything that has to do with the, with the house, they have it, okay? They have different product lines. It's one brand name, but different product lines. Of the same brand. Um, they it's are brand. yeah it's a product product or yeah, exactly. I, I don't know different product line son como ramas de mm -hmm. dentro del mismo la misma okay. compañía ajá que ellos no serían los distribuidores sino que productores mm -hmm. prácticamente ajá. exactly yeah okay Pero y en el caso donde dice de las características en común si estamos hablando por ejemplo de la marca Zuli no entendemos cómo ponerlas las características en común vale, por ejemplo Zuli, ¿qué características tienen en común todos sus productos? Ah, yo me puedo una de las cosas que, que, que yo veo que tienen en común es de que eh, son muy económicos ¿Vale? todos sus productos son okay. ¿Vale? okay. 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 Right, don't, don't worry about it. We're gonna we're gonna um, give you more time tomorrow. Okay. So don't worry about it. Okay. I'll see you guys in the main room. Okay, so, bueno, sé que no, no han terminado, ¿verdad? porque eh, por lo menos mínimo dos grupos definitivamente no han terminado. So don't worry, tomorrow I will give you more time. So don't worry. Es más, les hago saber, eh, les hago de su conocimiento que este grupo en que han estado, este grupo se va a mantener por mucho tiempo. Siempre vamos a regresar a este mismo grupo um, para hacer muchas diferentes actividades. Así es que acuérdense de, las, de, de sus, los integrantes de su grupo porque vamos a través del curso, vamos a estar regresando a ese mismo grupo. Ok. Ok. So we're going to um, finish off by taking Para hacerlo rápido, tengan ahí sus micrófonos, mis, uh, micrófonos listos para abrir. Y empezamos. Uh, Cristina. Present teacher. Eh, Ani. Present teacher. Mari. Present. Carolina. Present. Cristi. Present. Jorge. Jorge. Present teacher. Eh, Karen. Present teacher. Karina. Present. Leonardo. Present teacher. 
Linda? Linda? No está Linda. Mm, parece que se desconectó. Marlene? Miguel? Present. Nelson G? Present, Miss. Nelson A? Present. Norma? Present, teacher. Present, Present teacher. Omar? Present. Eh, Suleyma Rodríguez? Suleyma Rodríguez? Suleyma Melgar? Suleyma Melgar? Eh, Tatiana? Present. Ok, excelente. Vale, chicos, entonces eso sería todo. Me quedo yo con Mari, que es, um, le toca a usted. Ah, por cierto, solamente recordarles de que vamos en orden alfabético. Entonces, como ustedes ya más o menos saben en qué orden van en la lista, eh, entonces uh, así es como vamos a ir. Entonces, hoy le toca a Mari, mañana sería Carolina y el viernes sería Cristina. O oh, Cristi, perdón, Cristi. Ok, entonces sería todo chicos, se cuidan mucho, pasen buenas noches, nos vemos mañana. Buenas noches. Hasta mañana. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, teacher. God bless. Thank you, you too. Bye, teacher. Bye. Teacher present, me sacó el, el internet. Ok, gracias, gracias, voy a tomar nota. All right. Okay. Good night. Hola, Mari. Hola, teacher. ¿Qué tal? Bien, bien. Ok. ¿Ya en casita? Sí, ya. Yeah. Ok, qué bueno. Sí, qué bueno. hoy fue mi descanso. Ah, vaya. Ok, qué bien, qué sí. bien. O sea, que descansa los miércoles. Ahorita sí, los miércoles. Qué bueno, excelente. Ay, qué rico, rico descansar. ¿Pero solamente <ríe> un día a la semana o, o tiene dos? Solo uno, sí. Solo uno. Entonces trabaja dos días sí, de sí. semana. Sí, sí, todo el fin de semana. Ok, ok. Bueno, pero lo bueno de tener un descanso entre semana es que se puede ir a hacer mandado y todo, ¿verdad? Sin ningún problema. Sí, está bueno. Bien. Cuénteme en qué le puedo ayudar, Mari. Yo solamente creo que la clase de ayer sí prácticamente me la perdí porque me conecté, pero al final no entendí lo que los chicos estaban haciendo y en eso vino la lluvia y me desconecté. Entiendo. Entonces, no. Bueno, le explico. La dinámica del día de ayer era la siguiente. Um, les eran ocho, ocho pasos, ¿verdad? Que había que analizar. Entonces, lo que hice fue dividir esos ocho pasos en cuatro grupos. A cada grupo sí. le di dos pasos. ¿Ve? Al grupo uno le di paso uno y dos. Al grupo dos le di tres y cuatro. Al grupo tres le di cua, um, cinco y seis. Y al grupo cuatro le di siete y ocho. Entonces, después de haberlos analizado, Vine yo y puse, um, hice nuevos grupos de tal forma que tuviéramos un integrante del grupo 1, del, un integrante del grupo 2, un integrante del grupo 3 y un integrante del grupo 4 para que pudieran compartir la información. Y entonces lo que, está, lo que estábamos haciendo al final era eso, estábamos compartiendo la información que habíamos visto en, en, en nuestro grupo anterior. ¿Verdad? Ok. Lo, los pasos que envió ahora al WhatsApp. ¿verdad? Exacto. Y entonces eso ah. es decir, de que no se preocupe porque ahí están lo que, lo que hicimos ayer, es, están en la información que yo mandé hoy, hoy en el grupo. Ah, okay. ok. Vaya, sí, entonces solo ese era porque ayer sí me, me perdí esa clase. Ah, ok. Entiendo. Sí. Vaya. Eh, ¿Alguna otra cosa que le esté costando, que necesite más apoyo. Yo creo que ahorita, creo que con eso sí estoy bien. Ya. Yeah. Sí. Ok. Ok. Um, ok. Excelente, excelente. Eh, una preguntita, a Marisol. Cuando sí. le toca trabajar, usted está solita en, 
en, en, o sea, de, de, eh, primeramente, um, ¿cuál es su trabajo? ¿Qué, ¿Qué es lo que hace? Recepción. Ah, ok. En un hotel, sí. Mm. Ay, qué, 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 qué bonito. Sí. <risa> sí, este, yo salgo, bueno, eh, les, por lo menos cuando me conecto tarde, salgo a las 8, entonces en todo lo que llego a mi casa es lo que, por eso que me conecto tarde. Uh -huh. Y a veces no salgo exactamente a las 8, salgo tipo 8 y cuarto, 8 y media, entonces ahí es donde me tardo más, por eso que me conecto a veces a las 9. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, vaya, hagamos una cosa entonces, Mari. Um, y en el, en, en el bus puede usted ir conectada y um, por lo menos escuchando y con sus audífonos y todo. Fíjese que como yo camino a mi casa, ah, me queda cerca. Sí. Okay. Mucho que mejor, no, no tiene que tener el, el ruido de los micros. Sí, <risa> sí solo cuando el momento que pasa la carretera, sí. Ok, no, no es problema, ¿verdad? Pero, pero, ajá, pero digo, es mejor todavía porque elimina mucho de los ruidos, ¿verdad? Que uh -huh. hay un espacio cerrado. Entonces, sí, a veces por eso no me conecto porque como tenemos, a veces tenemos que participar, entonces a veces no puedo, entonces por okay, eso no, que trato. Hágame un favor, solamente mándeme un mensajito y dígame, um, ahorita estoy rumbo a casa, me conecto en tanto tiempo. Oh, me he dicho, no, no, perdón. No me conecto porque quiero que esté conectada ya. Sino que me puede decir, uh, ya puedo participar activamente en tanto tiempo. ¿Va? Ah, ok. okay. Pero, sí, okay. Pero, me conecto, pero siempre ah, os, con... le aviso que esté. Uh -huh. Conéctese, uh, me escucha la clase, ¿verdad? Ahí para que, para que también, uh, pues sí, no, no pierdan por completo sí. la información. Eh, y así no, está, no le pasé como el día de ayer, que estaba completamente uh -huh. perdida, que sí. estamos haciendo, ¿verdad? Por lo menos, okay. escuchando, y dice, ah, ya, ya entendí cuál es la dinámica, ¿verdad? Um, ajá, y, eh, y quiero ver qué otra cosa. Ah, y entonces ya al llegar a casa, ya se conecta completamente, Uh, ¿Verdad? Para participar con su camarita encendida, ¿verdad? Para que podamos aprovechar bien el tiempo. Ok, sí, listo. Me parece. Ok, excelente. Listo. Entonces, gracias a Marisol por okay. tenerse y nos vemos mañana. Perfecto, listo. Nos vemos Perfecto. mañana. Ok, hasta luego. Hasta luego.